Hello guys! Welcome to Google Calendar Basics. Very important na matuto kang gamitin ang tool na ito because as a general VA, not just a general VA, kahit halos lahat ng niche ay gumagamit ng tool na ito. So in this video, tuturo kita ng basics kung paano gamitin itong Google Calendar na ito para pag pinagwasay ng kalienta mo to ay sobrang madali na para sa'yo at confident ka na. Let's go! Okay, welcome to your Google Calendar. So, how do we navigate this? No? Let's start with the basics, mga beshi. So, let me just introduce you the different views of our Google Calendar. So, this, what you see right now, is the month view. Okay, wherein you see the overview event for the month. Ayan, di ba? You can just adjust it from here. You can do day. Wherein you get to know what's your schedule for the day for like on an hourly on an hourly basis. So there you go. Okay. Um. Next is by week. So you go. You you see an overview of what your schedule looks like or look like on a weekly basis. So may kita niyo dito Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Plus it's time blocked. Ayan per hour. And then we also have year. So you'll see what kind of events you actually scheduled scheduled for the year. So that's a huge overview right there. And then of course schedule. When you say schedule, you will see um the schedules you you plotted for the year. So as of now, um, we only scale, we only plotted my birthday, which is last April 16th. So this is like an overview only. And then four days, we're in your year schedule, parang weekly, pero four days only. So ganyan siya. Okay, there you go. So let's go back to the month. Ayan, the month view. And you'll see here on the left side, the view of the month, the overview. And then you can switch it to like the next months. Ganyan. Also here, if you want to switch it to the next month, just click this. September, October, November. Ganyan siya. Now for the second part, tuturo ko kayo kung paano mag-add or share ng calendar using Google Calendar. So as you can see, you have like several calendars here. Ayan. So right now, I want to add a calendar for birthdays. Kung mara wala pang birthdays, ang single to. Ayan. So, what I'll do is, I'll just click the three dots here and then ilagay mo dito sa settings and sharing. May kita mo dyan ay what? Add calendar. Pack, create new calendar. So, put a name, birthdays. Okay, you don't need to add description there. Just create calendar. And then, it's loading. Maya maya darating tayo sa exciting part. Ayan. Creation in progress. Where the progress is in creation. Ayan. There. Created the daw. So, balik tayo. Pak! Meron tayong calendars for birthdays. Paano naman kung mag-request ka ng calendar ng client mo? Ang gusto mong mangyari is mag-subscribe ka sa client, sa calendar ng client mo para makita mo yung mga events o yung buong calendar ng kliyente mo. So what you'll do is you go here, settings, ba? Pack settings. Tapos, balik ka sa add calendar, go to subscribe calendar, and then email na client mo. Kunwari ako, jam.blauta.gmail.com. Ayan, so since in-enter ko na yung calendar, okay, yung email ng client ko, then ito na labas, you can just change the name, Jam Blauta's Calendar. And then, automatic po yan, mapupunta dito. Ayan o, no, pack other calendars. So, pag hindi naka-check, ayan may kito. Pag select mo, may kita mo yung calendar ni Jam. Alright? At pwede mo siyang arisin anytime. oh pack. Ganyan. Ganyan siya sis. Okay? Now, sometimes, depende sa privacy setting ng calendar, 
no kliyente mo, sometimes it will ask you to send uh, an email for approval muna. Pero in my case, <laughs> hindi ko alam bakit hindi maayos yung ano ko, privacy setting ko nakakaloka. But yeah. So, paano naman kung gusto mo i-share yung calendar mo sa client mo? Madali lang yan. Choose a calendar. Of course, ito yung calendar natin. Click win three dots, click settings and sharing. Baba ka dito nakalagay share it, share it specific people or groups. You can just add people and groups and just click there. Put the email of the person. Once you jump that class at gmail.com and then you send and it, they will automatically get the email. So, hindi ko siya si-send kasi... Well, actually, pwede ko lang i-send. I-send na natin yan. Pack. So, automatic na yan. Ayan. Na-share ko na kay Buhay VA. Ayan. So, okay na tayo. Automatic mag email kay Buhay VA pag in ko. Lalabas na yung aking calendar as Buhay VA kay jam.blauta at gmail.com. So, there you go. Alright, third thing that I want to teach you is how to change time zone or add time zone because bilang virtual assistant, malamang ang kliyente natin ay taga ibang bansa. Minsan taga Amerika, and sa Amerika iba-iba. Central, um, Eastern, Pacific time, iba-iba. Mountain time, iba-iba yan. Minsan iba taga Australia, iba taga Europe. So at least hindi tayo nalilito. Kung paano. So, how do you go about it? So, just click. Ayan. The settings. Go to settings. And then, you'll see here, time zone. Okay. So, what we'll do here is to enable secondary time zone. Display secondary time zone by clicking this. So, what you see here is as primary time zone is the Philippine time. So, kunwari, dito tayo sa secondary, no? Okay, so let's say your client is from New York. So, kiklik natin yung Eastern Time New York, pack, ayan, and then we label it. So, uh, the Philippine Standard Time, label it as PH, and then Eastern Time, let's um label it as NY kasi nasa New York siya, and then it will automatically save, okay? So, kung siya na naman kliyente mo, and most of the time um time zone niya ang sinusunod mo then i suggest you use the ny or the eastern time as your primary so we switch it by clicking this swap time zone back or oh, there okay so balik tayo and then you'll see okay yes there Yung time zone, hindi mo may kita sa month, but may kita mo siya from week below. So, may kita niya dito, New York, Philippines. So, kapag ka ikaw ay gumagawa ng event, i-align mo siya, okay, sa oras ng kliyente mo. So, ito yung New York time, ito yung Philippine time. So, kung sinabi nila, let's meet, okay, on um, August 30 Okay, 3 p.m. New York time. So, malamang dito ka mag-a-add pack. Okay, ganyan siya. Alright, the next thing that I want to teach you is how to add a word clock sa ating Google Calendar. Kasi minsan, syempre, paano pag madam kang client? At gusto na malamang kung ano oras sa ano, Canada, ano oras sa New York, ano oras sa Australia. So, ito ay makakatulong sa inyo. No? So, how do you go about it? Just click settings. Pack. Go to world clock. Kanina time zone. Ngayon world clock. Magkita mo dito, oh. Click show world clock. Pack. And then you can add time zone. Such as, let's say, we want someone from Singapore. Add another time zone. You have a client from, let's say, San Gusto? New Zealand. Ayan. And another time zone, my client ka, let's say, sa, um, ato, sa Madrid. Okay. And then it will automatically save and then go back and pack. May kita nga na dito sa ilalim ng calendar na ito, yung world clock. Ganyan lang siya kadali. At least may reference ka na kung anong oras na Okay, sa mga bansa na mga kliyente mo. The last thing that I want to teach you is how to add an event. Okay, let's do this. For example, 
meron kang event next week. Okay, let's say, uh, meron kang school ng Monday. So, kiklik mo ng Monday, pack. Okay, I really suggest you go more options from here para makita mo yung bigger na view at yung kompleto na view. So, let's say, school. Uh, ang subject natin is biology. <laughs> biology. There, you can actually choose all day or not. Kasi hindi siya all day. And click mo yung all day. Pack! Then, nalabas yung time. Let's say, ang class mo is from 2 o'clock p.m. There you go. To 8 o'clock p.m. ang biology class mo. Kasi lab yan. No. Ang maganda dito, pwede kang maglagay ng color coding. Let's say, pag school, let's do green as your color coding para may time blocking tayo. Paano kung ano siya, um, tawag dito, paano kung meron kang gustong i-add na, tawag dito, na assignment dito, mga details, description, kung may add, pwede mo lagi dito, to pass on this day. Um, standard documentation. Number two, self-assessment. So, meron kang, ayan, meron kang ano neto, meron ka dito notes, no? So, pwede ka maglagay dito, busy or free, so sa school yan, busy. Okay? So, you can also, ayan, add ko anong notification. Ibig sabihin, i-remind ka na may event ka ng ganong oras do you wanted 30 minutes before. Okay? Or ilan? One hour before. You can customize that. Kung online naman yan, guys, you can add a Google Meet video conferencing or you can add a Zoom link dito sa location. And also sa location, let's say, nagtatra uh, let's say, may physical siya. You can put uh, De La Salle College of St. Benilde. Kunwari yan yung class. And then, kunwari, may gusto kong i-remind na kaklase kasi group project siya. No? Gusto mo i-remind si Jam na group meet mo. Pak! Ligay mo sa guest. And then, you save. And then, eto, it will just tell you na, hey, do you want to send that invite? Always send. Ayan, para ma-notify siya. Tapos i-approve niya sa end ngayon. So, ayan na siya. Biology. Pak. See? Hindi pa nag approve si John, kaya wala pang checkmark. Tapos location, pak. Ganyan siya, guys. No? Kung online naman, pipindutin ko lang yan, nasa Google Meet na kami. Or again, pag online, yung location, pwede mo palitan ng what? Zoom link. Ayan. So, you can see going, yes. Pak. Automatic yan dyan. There you go. O, parang kung nagkamali ka. No? Pwede mong click yan. You can just edit event. Pak. And then, palitan natin ng time. Mali pala ako. Ang, ang time pala is 4 p.m. And then, save. Ayan. Since may in-invite ka ng guest, may changes kayo nalagay, you still have to email them. Pak. 4 p.m. na siya. And then, what if you want to do it again on Wednesday? Same schedule. Kasi, MW. So, you can click options. And then, you can do duplicate. Pack. And then, click mo lang yung date. Click Wednesday. And then, you save. And then, send again para ma-notify siya. Paano kung gusto mo siyang every Monday? So, click this. Ito, every Monday. Pack. Three dots. Or edit na lang. Ayan, edit. Tapos, okay. Tapos, click mo to. Yung may laki na das repeat. Weekly on Monday. Ayan. Or monthly on the first Monday. Pero sabi natin, weekly on Monday. Click mo yan. And then save. Send. Pack. May kita mo? Lahat ng Monday, may ganyan. So that's how you schedule an event. Kung gusto mo siya i-delete, click mo lang yan. Click this. Delete event. Pack. All or this event lang or all. Let's say all. Okay. Send mo din sa kanila. Pak! Wala na. Wala na yung pinaka 
event. That's how you create and share events sa client mo. So mga beshi, ganito lang kasimple ang paggamit ng Google Calendar. Sana marami kayo natutunan. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye!